Another handoff. And the seas part for Harbison. And Trey Harbison walks into the end zone with the game's first touchdown. How about this? Watch the left side of the screen. Close, close, close. Patience burst by Harbison. That's outstanding. The transfer from NIU. A blitz off the edge. A three-man rush gets home, but Chris Reynolds is able to somehow escape. Lost the football on his way to the turf. He would have come up a couple of yards shy of the first down. There's a lot on their shoulders, starting with Pearson. Hand off to Marcus Williams. He's got a first down and more. Mountaineers in the red zone, first and 10 at the 11. When guys in the press box or when they're breaking down film or trying to identify players, it's very difficult. And there's a third down carry by Harbison, and he is in the clear all the way out close to midfield. Um, but I think it speaks volumes of the, the viewpoint of offensive people on defensive guys. The 11th play of the drive is a quarterback keeper and a first down run for Chris Reynolds. You zoom them in in your pregame meeting with your team and they have a chance to at least see their families' faces before they take the field for their opener as Cam Peoples finds a lane to the sideline and starts off the second quarter with a big run for Appalachian State and just over 231 yards rushing per game. Picked up five on first down, another cutback, and Peoples picks up another first down inside the 39-yard line. Peoples, a long strider and strides his way into the end zone for the App State touchdown. Watch the play start to the right and just watch how he peels back, right, peel back right there on that linebacker trying to shoot that gap. That's such a good job by that center. Have vision, lead front side. We'll come in uh, to speak to them such as Matt Rule. Inky Johnson, just to name a few. But one of the most important calls I think they had was one with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department and the district attorney. They were even able to bring in other athletes and other parts of the athletic department. At the goal line and into the end zone goes Williams for the touchdown. Power football. Great cut, White. Great, great cut. Beautiful job of feeling that safety coming downhill. Williams with the jump cut and don't waste time. Into the line. Nice stop and start for Harbison. And he's all the way out near midfield before he's finally cut down. And there is the head coach, Will Healy, hopping down the sideline. Play action for Reynolds. Well protected to the sideline, wide open. Inside the 30-yard line, down the sideline is Taylor Thompson, the true freshman tight end. And just like that, it's a goal-to-go -go situation for the 49ers. The closer you get with the college half mark, hash marks, 23 yards, but this one no problem for the junior, Jonathan Cruz. Effort by Lyon to make sure that he kept Zach Thomas in bounds. And now they'll hand it off on second down to Williams. And Williams, well, he picks up the first down. And that will stop the clock as he is able to get out across the 40-yard line. Four-man rush. Thomas. Nice wall off to make the catch by Jalen Virgil. And it's blocked. Charlotte's going to get the stop before halftime. And they will end the half with a blocked field goal and only a four-point lead for the Mountaineers. It's the leading returning tackle for loss from Saka on a defensive line from last season that was unaccounted for. Play action, Reynolds fires one up the seam, and he's got his true freshman tight end again for a big play. That's Taylor Thompson. Quarterback run. This time he'll throw it into traffic. And it's tipped and intercepted. Picked off and heading back the other way, Appalachian State. Brendan Harrington, the outside linebacker, gets the takeaway. See Reynolds peak. Great job by Huff of getting that pass break up. And then Harrington running to the football. Defenders always run to the ball. You never know what's going to happen. Pops up in the air. And then down that near sideline. If you want to take a shot, take a shot at like the play call. Very close to a first down on the run is Marcus Williams. Same formation. 
Play action. Thomas floats one over the middle and it's intercepted. Charlotte gets the stop on fourth down. Tyler Murray picked it off. He could have simply knocked it down. The pitch out. Trying to turn the corner. McAllister gets down the sideline. That's a big play all the way out to the 30-yard line. LeBlanc sounds like a raging Cajun. Should be scored a touchdown there, right? There's a slant. That's good for a first down. On second down and 12. His career long, 56. On a wet field. And this one he's got. Just watch the center. He's going to take his cut off at 60. Long throw. And wide open is Hennigan as a player slipped in the secondary for Charlotte. And Hennigan burns them for the touchdown. In the third. Well, Danny get a slip of the secondary, and Hennigan takes advantage. Hey, it seems like the corner's just trying to midpoint between Hennigan and the outside receiver. And he sees the ball thrown, he slips, and it just, again, a good job by Hennigan of coming back for the football. Lance McMillan lost his footing, and this made Hennigan look probably about 10 times as open yeah. as he would have looked. And it's an easy touchdown. So in some coverages, you have corners that they, they midpoint. They play in between both the seam and the go route. They try to play on top of them. 13 and one last season. All they do is win. Should make that a song. McAllister on the return. Bounces it outside. Breaks a tackle. He might go the distance. Touchdown. Aaron McAllister to the house. And just like that, it's a two-point game. Won't go down, McAllister. Great contact balance. Watch the side of your screen. Look at the head coach running with them. Beautiful finish. You see the sidelines electric. Talk about picking up your football team. Williams in motion. Find the one-on-one -on -one there. Four-man rush. Thomas under some pressure. Now out of the pocket, he might run. Inside the 30. Tripped up right at the first down line to gain, and he has the first down. Bottom of our screen, I've got double tight ends, 85 and 18. I want to zone up to the linebackers. Let's go zone motion run game. Harrington right up the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. Run game, you see it zone up. Watch the left side, 85 and 18. Evans and Crosby seal it off. Harrington with the finish. Reynolds off a play fake and down he goes. Ends up underneath Caleb Sperlin. Question is, can Charlotte get a stop? They've got field position on their side. A fumble! Losing the football was Cam. Peoples, he coughs it up. And a takeaway for Charlotte. Tyler Murray, he made the big play. It's a pass, but it's a very controlled pass. Bouncing it outside, Williams. He's got the first down. And he is going to try, I'm sure, to stay inbounds. And does. All the way to the 46-yard line of Charlotte. Marcus Williams. He might have pulled a hamstring. He goes down at the 24-yard line. Patrick Harrington, first down and more. He'll go to the end zone. Icing on the cake for the Mountaineers. That's a Harrington touchdown. This is a great run by Harrington. Look at the push. That right side of the offensive line really became dominant in that drive. Blocking downfield by the receivers. Well, they take a seam shot and it's an interception. And now it will be victory formation for the Mountaineers as Caden Smith Gets the pick of Chris Reynolds. Wasn't their day for Charlotte in the second half. So Zach Thomas takes a knee, and that will do it. Appalachian State starts their season with a win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.